welcome back. When we attain that perfect balance and harmony, that yuj or union, as prescribed in Hinduism's ancient scriptures, we are able to manifest our own innate divinity. In Bhagavad Gita chapter 15, Lord Krishna describes the omnipresence, omnipotence and omniscience of this divinity. The 15th chapter of the Bhagavad Gita is entitled Purushottama Yoga, that is the yoga of supreme being. This chapter carries 20 verses. Lord Krishna uses a unique analogy of the Ashwatha tree, which is also in English called people tree. Lord Krishna describes people tree as roots above and branches below. Roots above symbolizes Brahman, God, is the source of the entire universe. Branch below symbolizes all the activities in the world that we are experiencing, that we are performing, is governed by Brahman, the supreme reality. The word Ashwatha also literally means that which does not remain the same. So what does not remain the same tomorrow? It is the world. The world that we experience today is not the same tomorrow. It's not only the world, even our own personality. The 15th chapter also gives us this concept of Trinity in Hinduism, which is called Chara and Akshara and Uttama Purusha. A person who does not know God, to him, the scriptures say, the world is God. Everything that you see here, everything that you, that you experience in this world is God. It's a brilliant way of explaining God that is all-pervading everywhere. Just as, to use a, a rough analogy, for example, hypothetically speaking, a person who has never seen mud, and he has, you explain to him, why, what is mud, where is mud? You will show a mud pot and say, that pot is mud. But then his understanding of mud is confined to the pot that he sees. Then you explain, no, it is the akshara, the pot which is the name and form and shape is perishable, but the mud is imperishable. And then the person confines, the mud is only restricted to various pots that he sees. Then he says, no, 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 it's not that. It is uttama purusha, it's beyond. The mud is everywhere, all pervading. Similarly, God is all pervading. When Atman functions through the five organs of perceptions in the body, we call ourselves perceiver. When the same Atman functions through our five organs of action, we call ourselves actor. When the same Atman functions through our mind, we become the feeler, feeling various emotions. When the same Atman functions through our intellect, we become the thinker, entertaining various thought. These four components defines our individuality, defines our personality. Atman enlivens our body, mind and intellect to perform their respective activity, but the type of action you as the individual is responsible. So thus 15th chapter explains the concept of the Supreme Self function through the body, mind and intellect. Spiritual master and author Amit Ray once said of yoga, yoga is not a religion, it is a science, a science of well-being, science of youthfulness, science of integrating body, mind and soul. If you haven't already, do add some yoga to your lifestyle and keep up your sadhana. Until next week, Om Namah Shivaya.